My name is Brent Iverson, and I'm the acting director of the Texas Institute for Drug and Diagnostics Development, or TI3D. We were started about three years ago with the specific aim of translating basic science breakthroughs at the University of Texas at Austin into new treatments and diagnostics that can improve healthcare within the state and the country. Because it turns out far too often interesting new science that's created at major research universities never makes it all the way to some sort of important application because there's a lot of intermediate steps and, and that's especially true in drug or diagnostic development where there's a lot of approval and development that has to take place. So we have set about making an infrastructure and some new facilities that will enable us to take what we've been able to accomplish in the laboratories here and more easily connect it to medical research occurring around the state and, and around the country. And so uh, our missions are pretty much threefold and that is to establish new communication links between the major medical centers, especially in Houston, but in other places around the state. Create some new facilities that are going to make it easier for us to do state-of-the-art research that's going to have an impact on uh, health care in, in the context of new drugs or new diagnostics that are developed. And in doing so, we're creating an educational opportunity for our graduate and undergraduate students to see the drug and diagnostic development process all the way through from conception and, and introduction in the laboratory all the way to application at the clinical side. For example, in the last three years, TI3D has had four C grant programs where we've tried to catalyze brand new interactions between UT Austin scientists and clinical researchers around the state. And we have also created several new specific facilities, for example, a high throughput screening center, as well as an automated synthesis facility. And we've also helped to support important new facilities such as a genomic sequencing center, as well as an x-ray core facility and a toxicology facility. So the idea is to make UT Austin more connected to the medical research around the state, as well as provide us the infrastructure that will allow us to do more interesting science at, from the perspective of medical research. Examples of projects that exemplify the mission of TEI3D are the work of Walter Fass in the College of Pharmacy and Ed Marcotte in this department. So my lab is interested in nitric oxide, how humans produce it and control it. And nitric oxide is a signaling molecule, but if it's not controlled properly, it can cause a lot of damage in certain disease states like ischemic stroke, uh, tumor angiogenesis, and uh, septic shock. TI3D has really enabled us to do a lot of experiments that we haven't in the past. Historically, we've made one enzyme inhibitor, designed it, synthesized it, tested it in about a month, and then s start over again. Um, but with TI3D, we can literally test thousands of compounds in one experiment using their automation core. And now, in conjunction with their crystallography core and the Robertus lab, we uh, are getting structural characterizations of what these molecules look like when they're bound to the enzymes that they inhibit. And using that information to design second generation compounds and more potent inhibitors. And one of the uh, unexpected benefits of working with TI3D is they also have a lot of uh, faculty involved that have experience with intellectual property protection and how to go about that in a, in a systematic way. So it's been really helpful to, to get involved with TI3D and uh, I think they've been a great benefit to our research here.